Welcome to another language lesson, Grade Ones. Now that we've learnt all the letters of the alphabet, I want to talk to you about using a dictionary and about something called alphabetical order. Obviously, alphabetical order is talking about the alphabet. And we know how to sing the alphabet song. We know how to practice writing the letters of the alphabet. But that's not the only reason we use the alphabet or we learn the alphabet. We learn the alphabet, we learn our sounds of our letters to help us break the words up and understand how to build words. But when we're talking about dictionaries, we use the alphabet to help us find words easily. In our Letterland picture dictionary, you'll see that the alphabet begins with A. And so the first page of our picture dictionary has got all sorts of things that start with A. And it carries on in order. Then we have a B page, and a curly K, and a D, and so on. When we look at a little dictionary like this, it works in exactly the same way. Our letters start with all sorts of A words. And then we go on to B and C words as well. Now, that's great when you're older and you want to use it, but while you're still in grade one, we use a smaller dictionary, an easier dictionary, and it looks like this. And it's got some a, a words written for you, but there's lots of place where your teacher can write some more. Words that you might need to use when you're writing a sentence or you're writing some news. Then it carries on alphabetically to B, then C, and you'll see here we've also got some words that start with CH, a sound that we'll learn in time. Then D, E words, words that start with E, and so on. But they follow the letters of the alphabet the whole time. What I'd like you to practice this week is writing the alphabet, but I want you to practice writing the capital letter and the lowercase next to it. Then make a finger space, capital, and it's lowercase. Finger space, capital, and lowercase. The whole way. Practice from right from A all the way to Z at the end of the alphabet. Remember, your capital letters are your tall letters. And normally your lowercase letters are half the size, but sometimes they can be a teenager size and sometimes they can be tall, but they're still called the lowercase letter. So the work you're going to practice this week is practicing writing the alphabet. Then I would like you to find your reading comprehension page, the one that's called reading and at the farm. You know how to do these. We've practiced them before. This one's about Brad, who loves to read. And this one, as the little title says, is about uh, being at a farm. And the other page I'd like you to practice this week is a phonics page. And you're going to fill in the correct word that matches to the picture. Here is my look at the don't get something put litter in the something so you'll have to ask your family to help you read the sentences look at the picture and then put the correct letters for that picture word on the little lines i hope you'll have fun doing that and we'll talk again soon have a good week everyone